Boy, we, you know, riding time is is so important in, in all of these matches, as tight as they've been, and it comes into play there. So now we go to 174, and it's Buffalo's Jay Nivison and Sam Dupre of Binghamton. Yeah, Dupre's attacking right away. Jay's trying to defend it. Jay Nivison. Ranked 28th in the country right now. Preseason number two rank in the MAC. Nivison had a great year last year, 16 and 7, 7 and 3 in duels. Really one of the uh, pleasant stories of Buffalo wrestling last year as he uh, came in here as a transfer. Yeah, he was able to make it to the national tournament. That was big. Second at the Mid American Conference Championships, an NCAA qualifier as. Troy mentioned, redshirt sophomore from Davison, Michigan. Sam Dupre is a redshirt junior from Hilton, New York. And we're going to see his brother, Lou, a couple of weight classes from now. Yeah, I believe Sam was redshirting before this, and now he's wrestling, so... If I understand the rules correctly, they're pulling no, They're so confusing this. these days with the red shirts and the COVID years and everything else. So They got a new rule every year. <laughs> yes, they do. So it's Nivison and Dupre at 174. It's a 12-6 meet lead for Binghamton. So Buffalo has got to get going, and Nivison is one of those guys they're counting on to get points for them. Yeah, Jay's somewhat a veteran now on the team. He, He's got the accolades. You got to expect wins out of him. Now, a little different body styles here as you're watching this at 174. Jay's a little bit thicker and a little longer and slender, I think, for Sam to pray. Yeah, it all, you know, could be a little stronger, but when you're th thicker, you're stronger. But when you're lengthier, you got more leverage. So I think it all evens out. It's just how you use it to your ability. Well, and as I get to look at Sam Dupre as he spins around, uh, uh, he, he's pretty solidly built up <laughs> top there, too. So. so this might really be a couple of bulls going at it. And not just UB bulls. <laughs> yeah, they're both kind of moving, not really any attacks yet. Sam was in on one early, but... Nivison looking to get aggressive here. He's trying to get something. Ten seconds left. Probably see another attack from someone. Try to get a score late. But well, we're not going to see anything. Nope, we're not. First period, scoreless. Jay chooses bottom, so he's looking to get an escape here. And we're ready to go, second period. Dupre and Nivison at 174. Quick breakdown. Jay's back right up on his feet. Jay caught that leg as Sam's trying to throw it in. So that's good defense by Jay, but Sam's got between the crotch there. It's... Jay loses the leg. Out of bounds. Minute and a half to go here. Second period. We have no score yet. Another breakdown, but Jay's going to fire right up. He's building his base and going. You can see him come up. He doesn't catch that leg. Binghamton's really good at throwing in these legs just to hold guys down, try to get to work. Riding time is starting to increase and build towards an advantage here for Sam Dupre. Yeah, he's got that back leg hooked. Jay's trying to go out, but they're off the mat there. 59 seconds of riding time. 
you know, can't emphasize enough, as we saw in the last match, that riding time can be the difference yeah. in winning or losing. So it's something we're certainly keeping an eye on. We'll do it with the graphics, but we've we're, we've got our antenna up on making sure that we know where that falls. Yeah, Jay's up again quick, but Sam's good with that those mat returns. Jay's got to try to build his base, and when doing so, try to pr protect his hips from a leg getting thrown in. The Prey's working the rollover, the yep. wrist there. He's just trying to... And that riding time up to a minute and a half. Yeah, this riding time's big for him. Jay's yeah. got to do everything he can to try to get that point. As we keep going into this match with no points scored, you know, you don't want to see it be a one nothing final, but that's what it looks like at the moment. Yeah, Jay's uh, just gets hit with a stall warning, so... Not much action, just a real tough ride by Dupre. Jay's got to get moving, try to get going here in the third period to make something happen. All right, so Jay's really got to get going because while the score is 0-0, it's a two-minute riding time advantage for Dupre, which means he's likely going to have that locked in point. Yeah, Jay's got to try to hold him down, but he's going to go optional start, give him the point, and he's just going to try to get a takedown here. Okay, so now one nothing, Binghamton. One nothing. Technically two nothing. Jay's got so the takedown is it's get, Jay's got to have one. Yep. Takedown will just tie it up. So potentially an early takedown and then cut him and he's gonna have to go for another one or we might see overtime. Yeah, you heard it from the Buffalo bench. Jay, let's go. Yeah, Jay's there. Sands with the re-attack, but Jay's able to fight it off there. Sam Dupre, Jay Nivison, 174, coming down to the final one minute. Jay's got to get trying to go here. Riding time's now locked in, so it's 2 nothing. So when you're in this situation now where you have got to go, what's the move, what's the strategy for Jay? You just got to keep pushing the pace. You saw an attack there. I tried to get right on him. Got 40 seconds, you know, 10 seconds every shot attempt or something. You got to just keep going. You can't be waiting. You got to attack as much as you can. Under 30 seconds to go. Aggressive move by Nivison. Out of bounds. Good defense there by Sam. He's able to wizard him out of bounds, but we're going to see Jay attacking a lot here. Well, he's going to have to because he's down 2 nothing right now. 1 nothing is the score. One point of riding time confirmed for Dupre. Yeah, Jay's not able to get anything open, so he's... Just trying to take a lot of shots. And that'll do it. It's going to be a 2 nothing victory for Binghamton Sam Dupre. With the riding time included, and it's now 15-6 in favor of Binghamton with only...